Right. <laughs> well, it's been a minute, hasn't it? But we're here, we're out. We're on the river. Come down to do a bit, so. Hopefully, be able to pull something out. Oh, I don't know if you just saw that. So I've just literally walked on another 10 meters down the bank on the other side of that big tree. I've already seen two fish moving just on this corner. So, I don't know if you see all this stuff down here. It's, I think this is just like a raft. It's not the bank. I can't quite tell where the bank ends. It's, I don't want to start walking on it if it's all going to collapse underneath me. I've got boots in the car, so I could go and get my wellies on. Stretch uh, uh, the swim I've been to a couple of times before it's just on beyond here but oh, there's, there's bubbles there's all sorts going on do I rig up right here and just give it a pop as you can see the river I don't know if you can tell the river's running this way at the moment which is upstream because uh, it's tidal stretch so I've got so this is a tidal river I've never tried really sort of mastering the tidal river before uh, here you get a couple of good out good hours fishing on the fl uh, flood tide which is what we're doing now and then we should get slack tide about three o'clock we're coming up quarter to two now so an hour and a half of this oh there's fish all over here i've got to just rig up just got just got to throw a bait in the water and see what happens um right i'm gonna do that catch you in a bit so uh got myself a um new rod it's not a new rod second hand but new to me uh, it is the Drenham stick float okay so we're talking 13 foot uh, match rod lightweight action so yeah cork handle old school clips I thought it's gonna be really nice with the center pin so I thought I'd come out today uh, give it a proper go have used it once before in one of my videos from really earlier in the year uh, one of the very cold ones but I didn't sort of advertise it was new because I just wanted to get out and give it a go but this is a real test for it so I'm gonna give it a uh, a good good working all right here we are set up got um, Avon float which is about 7 BB which means nothing to me so we are three double a's small uh swivel onto a size it's quite a big uh hook actually for but it was just what i had rigged up in the uh, in the box so i thought just use that i've got some smaller hooks if uh, nothing's producing chucked a load of this out this is just freezer meltdown <laughs> clear out got some old dead maggots put some corn in there which i'll probably use on the hook so i'm gonna get down to the warp's edge I'm going to see what's see what's cracking. Tangle, tangle, tangle. Right. Watch me fall down this hill now. Here we are. This is solid. Oh, he says it's solid as he gets to right by the water's edge. It was solid. Right. Should be able to cast that a little bit. Let's see how far we can cast this thing. Drop you. Flow is, like I said, I think I've got about probably half, got about an hour until slack tide.
nothing. Oh, you see that fish jump? Didn't bring a rod that didn't bring a reel that could get over there, unfortunately. So we're near side fishing. I do have my wellies in the car, which I might need to go and get. Had to deploy Edgelord shades because the sun is just bearing down and it's blinding up on the surface of the water. Had to have a bit of a change. Um, I'm going to put a smaller hook on because the uh, there's just no luck with the um, with the corn. Switch to dead maggots. I've had quite a few nice takes, but they keep bumping the hook. Nice days, I think. I saw a big flash of silver as it came out of the water. But um, so I'm going to switch to a smaller hook and uh, take this time to have some lunch as well because um, we're three o'clock now and the um, the water has slacked right off. So we're on for 20 minutes, half an hour of slack tide now, which can be hit and miss with fishing on the on the river. So uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get some grab in me. Swap this hook out and we'll uh, hit it again in a little bit. Trying to get slightly nicer, Ooh. slightly nicer fish, but they're all days, they're all happily received. <laughs> oh. They all send the float dancing. Look at that. Do 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 do. Oh, I mean, I ha the amount I haven't landed are oh, is just ridiculous. They're not taking the corn though, which is strange. I thought if I uh, was able to get one or two just nicer ones on corn, I'd have been slightly happy. But... Yeah, another one. Ooh, really beautifully silver these ones. Oh, of course he did. He's taking it right down. This tide has taken actually a lot longer to change than I thought it would. Look at that float. What is happening? Oh, you, you, you even saw that, right? I don't know if you can see it on the camera, where the sort of V in the uh, tree line is. I'm guaranteed to bite sort of there every time. Apart from that time, obviously. Oh, that's a bit better. Oh, he says, as it's another small dace. See it for maggots. Come on, right on the corner there. Oh, come on, there you go. Oh, in the hat. Oh, in the hat. Get out of the hat. There you go. That's the sort of stand for fish I've been getting nearly all all afternoon. We've got half a dozen or more in the bucket. 
trying to that one's a little bit bigger actually I probably should have put that one back but yeah I'm just trying to trying to get rid of them I'm trying to get them out of my swim the sun's just dipped behind that tree now look how beautiful that is probably take the glasses off now oh that is bright but yeah 10 minutes proverbial just fill in the bucket with little dates oh we all know what it's like we can't leave feeding fish sorry em might be a little bit later <laughs> even though they are only bloody miniature dates What did you do? I spent all bloody afternoon catching miniature dace. Was it fun? Of course it was fun. I mean, I'm like a child. I'll just get half a pint of maggots and a handful of dace will do me. So, this rod. 13 foot Drennan match rod. It's been really well. I really enjoyed it. That's a bit of a better. <laughs> it's a bit of a better one. Still a tiny right. Oh, still a tiny dice. But at the end of the day, this is what the this is what this rod was probably made for. To be honest, just catching a few little little dice. Shame it's not a. I say shame, look at it, it's lovely out here. Oh, spun it off. Sorry. Beautifully still now, beautifully still. I do use the Discorger, obviously, it's on the floor in front of me, but when they're there and it's just nicked on the corner, you can turn the hook out, it's quicker, it's less faff on the fish, and you can just get straight back to it. Been playing around with the depths as well because I wondered if it was better going deeper. But they're spaced quite evenly throughout the water column. Don't know why that one was this kind, but oh, I mean. Spear fishing that one. What the hell is going on with this? Let's get it back in that line away. Six or eight geese up there, nice. Oh, there was a fish on, wasn't even looking. Oh, not anymore. I want to say thank you very much for watching. Sorry it's been a bit of a cobbled together session and if I didn't manage to get too much footage of the actual fishing, I apologise for that. But you know what it's like when you're trying to do six things at once. So, um, yeah, I've had a lovely afternoon. I hope you got a sense of how absolutely glorious this uh, October afternoon has been. So, 
yeah definitely got to come back as I, I normally end up coming down here sort of in the real dead end of the season and I have never had never had any success other than like a couple of bleak and one session and I've been here maybe five times but that was the most productive session I've ever had here so well well chuffed with that um, yep I'm late <laughs> gotta get home um, I'm just sitting here in the tucked up in the hedgerow of a field talking to a camera now so <laughs> thanks for watching guys uh, press the buttons do the what's it's uh, look forward to it see you on the next one cheers now boy last time I'm really good on there a dozen or so oh, oh there's one catch him before he goes oh, back in the bucket before you get stuck on, on the land Yes, watch him. Oh, that's the edge of the, that's the bank. What have you got? Oh, you can go over here. Still one in it, fighting the tide. Whoop.